What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Van Holtz, back again with another awesome podcast short from Urban Beardsman. I'm here with Clayton Cook. Hello, hello. And today, we're talking coffee. Hot cup of joe. Hi, Clayton. Coffee is probably my favorite beverage on the face of the planet. But believe it or not, there's like a bajillion ways that you can make coffee. What are some of your faves? Oh, man. First and foremost, standard drip. Drip a dip dip. Drip, drip, drip. Drip. It's fast. It's easy. I can get it on the go. I don't have to wait for it at Starbucks. Yeah. It just comes quick. I'm uh so I'm more of a fan of like the pour over. You get yeah. it, I guess it's kind of similar to a drip, but you get a little more control over the temperature and and how the water is uh brewing, I mm-hmm. guess. The the process. You can do a pour over in like a Chemex or a V60 or something. Ooh. I don't fancy. Yeah. Cold brew? Cold brew? It's hot outside in Texas. Iced pour over? I love it. Anything cold yeah. with caffeine. Do you like iced coffee? I prefer cold brew to iced coffee, but I'm taking iced coffee if it's above 90 degrees outside. Yeah. What about um, percolator? Yes, but when I'm camp- when, only when I'm camping. Only when you're camping. What about AeroPress? I've never had an AeroPress. AeroPress is like this device you use to just like smash coffee out it's like a fancy it's like is it a french press well it's it, it's it's like an immersion espresso kind of combination that sounds tantalizing. and it's only like 20 bucks so oh it's like a super cheap way to make good coffee yeah. espresso americano you like americanos i love an americano yeah so you got the espresso you got the drip you got the pour over you got the aero press you got the percolator you got the cold brew you got the french press you mentioned that. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there's like other ways we haven't even. There's like 30 more. 30 more. I'll yeah. drink them all. Gallons at a time. All right, Clayton, are you a coffee snob or how do you get your coffee? I am a coffee destroying machine. I'll get coffee anywhere, anyhow. I'll get coffee at the gas station. I'll get coffee from my coffee maker at home i'll get coffee from the fancy hip coffee place yeah so you you don't care as long as it's coffee like if it's crappy cheap coffee do you you drink it blank or i'll drown it if it's bad if it's burnt gas station coffee i'm gonna drown it in cream and sugar okay if i have time i'm going to a fancy hip coffee place and i'm and I'm taking it straight and I'm enjoying the art of the coffee bean. Yeah. But I'm an addict, so I'll take it either way. Okay. So I'm not as much of an addict. I'm like a one cup a day, two cup a day kind of guy. And uh, keep me at like those those nice places. Or we'll brew it here in, in the house. We Not the house, the office. We've got this cool uh, subscription plan from Blue Button where they'll uh, just automatically ship some, some fresh beans that yeah. we grind up and then we brew right on the spot so it's just so much better that way because i like drinking my black i don't like the cream and sugar no so it's got to taste good to I'll, me i'll take it either way but this the stuff we have now it, it spoils me yeah. oh yeah man yeah. you, you're not coming in uh with the the chick-fil-a mug as much anymore no not anymore all right clayton we love drinking coffee i think that's a given but Besides tasting good and preventing me from getting headaches, does coffee have any health benefits? Coffee has some incredible health benefits. It's not just helping you wake up in the morning. Apparently, coffee helps fight type 2 diabetes, liver disease, heart disease, Parkinson's disease. A good steady amount of coffee in your diet every day actually is going to bring you some nice health benefits. Now, I'm no science metologist or whatever those people are called, mm-hmm. but I would also imagine if you're the type of guy that gets the coffee blows, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's going to help your colon too. Absolutely. It keeps so, you keeps you regular. Keeps you regular, which helps against like colon cancers and stuff. Mm-hmm. So what can coffee do? Nothing. The greatest drink in the world? I would say it is by far my favorite drink. 
coffee one, water two, alcohol three. Three. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers. Beard on. And beard on.